What is up, YouTube? It's uh, Ryan, Maniac V2 here. And uh, I have another tutorial for you guys. This is going to be... Um, sorry about that. It's going to be how to make uh, 3D vines, kind of 3D lines, whatever, in uh, Cinema 4D. And I'm going to teach you also how to animate them to make them uh, kind of grow, kind of like uh, this right here. Watch. See? Kind of like this. All right. So uh, I'm going to just delete this and start from the beginning. So I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. Just get your project uh, all set up in your settings. And um, go to this tool right here. And you're going to hold it down and just make sure it's freehand. It's the spline tool freehand. It should be next to the cube. So yeah. And then uh, click this little box right here. And uh, on this top view right here, you should have this on the right. Uh, you're going to draw just sort of a squiggly line uh, from the end into the uh, beginning right here. So just like this. Something like that. Alright. And um, now we can zoom in on, on that line. Alright. And uh, now what we're going to do is going to go to the NURBS section right here. And you're going to hold it down and you're going to select sweep nerves and um, next you're going to go to this uh, spline tool again and hold it down and you're going to click circle you can also use rectangle star uh, cogwheel flower end side whatever it doesn't matter um, sometimes rectangle is really cool and sometimes end side is really cool because you can customize it a lot more so you can go to circle for the basic one and uh, drag this below and then drag the sp spline above Sorry, drag this right into the sweep nerves and then drag the spine, the spline um, above. But make sure you have the circle above the spline. So uh, I'll repeat that again. Sorry. So drag the spline above uh, into the sweep nerves and then draw the spline into there. Sorry. The circle above the spline and they're both under the sweep nerves, just like that. So make sure you can do that to them. And uh, sorry, that was a bit confusing, but that's how it has to go. And then you're going to go to the circle and uh, see how you just get this huge thing right here. You're going to um, turn the radius on the circle down. Just drag it down until you like uh, what it looks like. So I like that. And then you can take your sweet, sweet nerves and uh, move it up a little bit. And uh, just, you can just rotate it, whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna move mine up and rotate it like that. And you can just zoom in on it. And you can have it kind of coming through the camera if you want. But um, anyways, so now what we can do is um, if you want to make, if you want to animate it, all you gotta do is um, you click this right here. It's automatic keyframing. Go to about frame twenty-five. Go to about frame frame thirty. Click the key f the keyframe button right there, the key. Now go back to frame zero, and turn the end growth to zero, and uh, unclick that automatic keyframing, and then hit play. And uh, I don't know why, but we should be getting this um, this keyframe. I don't know why. Be getting this keyframe right here. Zero and then go back to end growth and hit a hundred. Um, and you should get this animation. Yeah, so you just gotta um, actually manually keyframe this. So you gotta hit the keyframe and then um, in the beginning and then you gotta hit the keyframe in the end. So um, yeah, and then here's another trick uh, or tip, whatever. Um, say you don't want a circle as your, you know, shape. So I want say a square or a, a rectangle or a you know polygon or some other shape. So I'm gonna delete the circle. I'm gonna go back to the freehand tool, and I want to choose uh, end side. This is a very 
nice tip and then got to turn the radius down again so look we have a um, really nice shape here see the sides I could choose four I could choose a lot of sides and make it a circle um, I could choose three sides and make it a triangle um, also I could choose just I could use four sides and then make it kind of round so uh, and then turn the radius down on the roundest so now we have um, this sort of round um, we have this sort of round rectangle shape as our base shape for the vine so guys that's how you um, make 3D vines or 3D lines in Cinema 4D and uh, my next tutorial will try to be on how to make a uh, multicolored light studio if not I'll just get the project file out because I'm having trouble with it so thanks guys for watching this has been uh, another video for you guys and uh, subscribe please like and comment on the video and uh, if this helped you out a lot please favorite it it doesn't really matter that much but uh, yeah alright so see you guys and uh, see you next time.